Hi, this is Project Library Training Course, and today is the day five. I would like to show you how to how to work with the export and print in the Project Library. Okay, so now let us start it. And this is the project planning we are working on in an another previous video. And today I will use this one to show the demonstration for printing and exporting it to the PDF file. Okay, so here. Yes, underneath, underneath of the file tab here, we have a, an, an option is print, print preview and PDF. So here, when click on print here, it will call the a default print on the window PC. And for the preview, we can see the, the output when we do the print. And the same thing for the PDF. When click on the PDF button here, we will set uh, we will export all of the data of this project planning to a PDF file. Okay. I will close this one and I will open the I will come back to the pre preview mode. Because in this preview mode we can do some setting before we do the print. So here you take a look into the, the the right hand we have some the uh, print print preview option here. Yeah. So the the first one is uh, is a printer in in the, in the window PC, and I will have it by default here, because this PC I don't have any printer connected here. So now I will use a Microsoft Print to PDF at default option. Okay, orientation here. This is a orientation of the the the, the, the output of the report here of the file. So here I will change it. I can change it to purchase. Yeah. But it look not good because the project planning is is uh, very big, very big. So we cannot use the purchase option. We should select the land cave. Okay. So here we back to the planning. Mm. You can see here in the purchase uh, in the land cave option. Okay, back to this case. landscape option. We just print out the the column of pre predecessor, but here we have another column in resources. Okay, so that means we have changed the pet or the paper. It will select the letter by default. We can change it to the A three A three here. So when we change A three, it look better. It can display the the latest column resources, a resource name, and it also include some part of the gun chart here. Okay, and if we change it to the A4, um, it's the same thing later. It also missing the latest column, and that means we cannot use the A4 format. We should change back to the A3. Okay, but here it it also includes the gun chart in the in the output so if i don't want to export the gun chart here how to do it okay you take a look into the diagram section it, it has two options separate sheet and gun here if you uncheck this one it's only print out the the chart otherwise when you uncheck to the gun here the chart will be disappear okay so here it look better. Yeah. So now I just go ahead to click on the PDF here and save this output to the to the window PC. It is importing. I can close this one. And this is a PDF output. I click on this one. Yeah. So you can see this is output of the PDF file. When we do the printing, the content from the uh, project planning into a PDF file, it look very good. Yeah. So now you can use this uh, this output and deliver it to the client or the colleagues. Okay. And now here, I will try to print this out with some of the content. I just want to print out the chart, the chart here. So, 
function set the same thing number two okay kun okay so that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to handle the print print and exporting feature of the project library you can export the, so the data of the project planning into a pdf file and you can use that file to deliver for the uh, for, for to the specific person in, in the team or also for the customer okay thank you for watching and see you later